back here on the Tamiya N1025 Hummer and look what came in. The front aluminum knuckle arms came in just the other day which I'm super excited about that because they actually came in a lot earlier than what the estimated delivery time is. But look at these things. They're nice quality work and uh, they look really nice. And now these are for the CC01 TA02 one and oh, <laughs> oh two. God, that was a lot to uh, to say. But for the CC01, TA01, and TA02, so that's nice that it'll fit my uh, Unimog as well if I need to get a pair of those. But um, I had to order new ones after my front left one exploded apart, which is just plastic, and that's the original one on there. So it broke apart during its test run. And it also caused some other damage as well. So when I was running it, uh, when that knocker arm actually gave out, it caused this front bar here to pop out, which this bar connects the spinch arms to the chassis. So when it came out, the suspension dropped to the ground. And at the speed I was going, it actually caught my right front shock here and ripped it out of its uh, screw hole, which I just replaced that mount because the uh, the shock mount post actually uh, works as the body mount post as well. So that's how the, the front body would actually clip onto the chassis. So it got ripped out and I glued it back in with some industrial strength glue, hoping that uh, that industrial strength glue would do its job and hold its place in there until I actually can get the money out to get uh, a good set of aluminum uh, front mount and rear mount for the vehicle so I won't have this issue of cracking the plastic or ripping threads or whatever. So yeah, so uh, I'm going to start getting these parts in there. I'm going to go ahead and actually paint these too because it'll look kind of weird having these shiny uh, knuckle arms on this vehicle when it's clearly an off-road vehicle and doesn't really need all that shininess and stuff like that. So I'm gonna paint those to match it. Um, try to paint it and match it. <laughs> try to match it up. But uh, yeah. So I uh, just want to give you guys an update on the uh, Tamiya N1025 where it's at and hopefully with getting the knuckle arms installed and hopefully that shock post will hold up and get this vehicle out there and do a trail of it and hope I have no problems when I'm out there on the trail. Hopefully. Um, just saying hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah. I can't wait to get it out there. It looked great during its test run. It looked great. It performed great turn wise, speed wise. Uh, the crawling wise it did pretty good. I was very impressed with it. So I just can't wait to get it all back together and get it out there on the trails for the first time and see what it's capable of doing. I uh, can't be too rough with it. She's she's an old girl. She's from 1995, so she's kind of an old girl, especially for an RC. She's kind of old. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this vehicle or any other questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below and I will answer them the best as I can. Well, guys, thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next upcoming video, which is hopefully the run video for the Hummer. So guys, thanks for watching and I will check y'all out later.